hey, this is JD of Auburn First United Methodist Church. But as you can see, I'm out here in God's country today. I'm up at Snoqualmie area, up here in the forest. And you know what, guys? I've been thinking a lot lately about relationships, about the, the kingdom of God and, and, and prayer and, t and talking with God. And, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is, is some of my prayers and, and my standard prayers. And a lot of times we think about, are prayers really answered? Well, I had an experience this week, actually yesterday, that really led me to believe, yeah, our prayers really are answered. And we never know when they will. So let me share with you guys two of my prayers that I, I say almost every single day. Uh, one of my prayers are, Lord, please help me to get out of your way for your plan that is for that you have for me and and really what I'm meaning by that is is that I know that the Lord has this great plan for me and and I just need to make sure that I'm not getting in the way of that plan you know a lot of times we want to take control of things we want to have control we just want to do it our way the other prayer that I say all the time is Lord please allow others to see your greatness through my actions and allow them to know how great you are through my actions and to see you in me and and, and what does that really mean but it, but basically it is you know lord use me as an instrument for your good work and and like i said we never know when our prayers are going to be answered so yesterday, I, I work for Boeing, and yesterday was one of those days when, uh, unfortunately, Boeing is laying people off. And so I got a lot of letters from a lot of my friends that were being laid off. And they're, you know, hey, it's my last day at Boeing. Goodbye. Thank you all so much for, you know, all the things you've done. You know, let's stay in contact. Here's my contact information. I get a lot of those letters. I've been there 32 years. I know a lot of people. Well, I got this letter from this person. And... I didn't really recognize the name. And I'm like, ah, I sort of recognize it. I sort of don't recognize it. I, I don't know. And, and this person is a gentleman, and he wrote a great story about Boeing, coming to work at Boeing as his dream job, and coming to work at Boeing as an intern in 2004, 2004, it was, uh, yeah, 2004. And, and he told the story about how he got the job and how his his resume was picked by this guy at the time who was growing a beard and a mustache to play Jesus at a play at their church. And all the people he listed, I knew. I worked with all those people. And the job he was talking about, I worked with. And that time, that year, was when we had the Living Last Supper, and I was the one that was playing Jesus. And yes, during that time, I had stopped shaving and I let my hair grow long and I was the one that picked his resume out and and gave it to the hiring managers to have him come to work for Boeing and he goes on to talk about that I was also the same one to convince his manager to hire him after his internship was done and gave him what he says it was his dream job to come work for Boeing and 16 years later this chapter is closed and he's moving on to another chapter but I didn't know that. I, I knew him at the time. I probably worked with him at the time. I, we surely have lost touch. I don't remember. I don't remember that actions. I don't remember those. But I know it had a huge impact on him. And so the Lord was able to work through me and have an impact on somebody else. So guys, say our prayers. Ask the Lord to help us work his your, the Lord's good magic. Work, work with, with what he's got through us and not get in the way of his plan because it's those relationships. If we could touch one person, we've done great things. If we can touch many people, we've done fabulous things because I'll tell you what, the Lord has got great plans for all of us and we need each other's help and it's those relationships that we have with the Lord and the relationships we have with everybody else that makes the kingdom of God right here on earth in our own surroundings. Guys, this is J.D. Drollinger from Auburn First United Methodist Church right now out here in God's country loving each and every one of you.
Amen.